Ah, here you are, yeah, baby. Welcome to Chef Box Cage Kitchen. Hot day. Hey, look here. Today we got a special thing going on. Number one, I'm gonna be barbecuing some shrooms, some mushrooms. Don't look for no portobellas. I use the little bitty ones. You know what I mean? The El Cheapos. Now, what else am I have? I got some deer sausage mixed. Deer and pork sausage. It had not been smoked. But it's gonna be cooked on that little grill there right behind me. It'll be doing this thing, Shay. And look, the sauce I'm gonna put on there, I'm undecided. Maybe I'm gonna put half of it in my own personal barbecue sauce. And I know you got your own also. And the other half, I'm gonna make it some Thai deer sausage. Hey, it's gonna be good, Shay. Some Thai sauce I'm using. Now, I've got some pork ribs, baby backs. These are gonna be on the grill. One little slab gonna have my personal gourmet barbecue sauce. The other one's gonna have some Thai sauce. But I'm gonna show you how I get it all prepared in just a minute, all right? Anyway, I only got one camera to use today. So you're gonna have to just kind of follow me around. I'm gonna bring that camera around. That camera gonna be floating today. All right, this is Chef Book. Let's get the show on the road, baby. Aye, oh yeah, baby. Hot dang. Alright, first thing I want to do, actually the second thing, you know, the first thing I did was get some sweat out my eyes. First thing I want to do though, really, in all reality, I want to go ahead, put my shrooms on here, and I'm going to ride those right here in the front. Actually, I'm going to ride them in the back back there, because those are going to be on a pretty good while. That's them shrooms. I don't know if you can see them or not. Got a little of my barbecue sauce, my gourmet barbecue sauce, I might add. Oh, yeah. Go head on up there, baby. Oh, yeah, baby. Do your thing, baby. Look at that. Isn't that pretty? Let me put, put you on the front here. You need to face the camera. Yeah. Come on, boys. Let's do it. Now. What else I got? Might as well put my sausage on there too. I'm gonna ride these right here. Look at these bad ones here, huh? I'm using some Hillshire, regular pork sausage, smoked. I got some uh, recharge, smoked pork and beef. That one big link right there, that's my baby right there, that's mine. Matter of fact, that one there, uh, after a while I'm going to cut it. And I'm going to put a little Thai sauce on one side and my, my personal barbecue sauce on the other. Alright, that's looking pretty good. Now we're going to move to the work table, baby. Right now I'm going to just close this up and let it just do its thing, you know, just do your thing. Hot right, dang, boy, that's fun, yeah. You can hear them old dogs going crazy out there. Anyway, right here, take this off for right now. The way I cook my ribs is a little bit different than everybody else. I take mine, I season them, I wrap them in foil, I put them on the grill. I let them do their thing. When it's all puffed up and I know they're tender, 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 then I take them out of the foil and let them brown real good on, on the grill. A lot of people do it exactly the opposite than I do. Anyway, here I go. First thing I'm going to use, I'm going to use my little mixture here. And that's the same thing, same thing I've got in here. <laughs> this, is, this consists of, because I don't want any pepper on, on my Thai one. This consists of two teaspoons of salt. One teaspoon of garlic powder, one teaspoon of paprika, and a half teaspoon of chili powder. You notice there's no pepper at all in there. And the reason is that for that is I'm using this. This is this Thai sauce. And let me tell you, this is so dang good. Dang good. This has a lot of seasoning, a lot of uh, sweetness, yet it's got a little bite. 
And that's the way I like it, just like that. Hope y'all can see this rascal here. Yeah. All right, here I go. Let me put this sucker here and get it going. This is going to be fun. It's a fun afternoon. Finally got some cool weather. Well, warm weather. A little bit warmer than normal and it's dry. Dry, dry, dry. Got a little breeze. Come on, baby. Do your thing. Do both of them like that with this special. This, this is my special spice mix. A lot of people don't care for pepper and just because it's Cajun don't mean it's got to be hot, hot, hot. I look for flavor. Because I'm Chef Bork. Flavor is my middle name. Hot dang. All right, baby. And I'm not going to put anything on my deer and pork sausage. Because I know the one that made that. And hey, it's awesome. Always good. So let me put a little seasoning on the other side of these ribs, too. Here we go, babe. And that wind's coming. And you want to, you want to wrap it tight. Tight, tight, tight. You want to be able to capture all that steam in there. All right, push that one aside right there. Here we go. That's some zeal. Well, look how thick that is, huh? Now, when this is on the grill, once I take it off and then put it back to brown up, you know I'm going to put some more of this stuff on there. Oh, yeah. Don't forget, you know, it's a poor man barbecue. Yeah. People ask me, where your place at? Hey, I got a beignets, I sell beignets over there. I do beignets at the horse farm and last year on Saturday morning. That's my place. That's why I get rid of, uh, I mean, that's why I sell my goods. Oh, I tell you, that's going to be good, good, good. Yeah. It'll take about an hour. Right now, my temperature on that little grill is hot, hot. That pit is hot, so this won't take long for this to start steaming in there. All right. Now, we're going to move that camera because I'm going to go ahead put my sausages on there and everything else. Oh yeah, baby. Let it do its thing.
All right, now I'm going to let it just cook and cook and cook. Got a lot of coals in there. The coals are, per temperature's perfect right now. It's right at uh, 275. Let it go, baby. All right, Chad, we're going to let that sucker cook. Got to take the sweat out my eyes right now. You know, uh, I heard they had a little somebody do some research. And I didn't know this, but, you know, the word is that uh, people eat more bananas than monkeys. I didn't know that. I mean, that, that kind of confused me. I'm like, what the heck going on? I didn't, I, but then I got to thinking, you know, uh, how can that be? I never saw anybody. I never saw people eat a monkey. <laughs> anyway, <laughs> anyway, I'm taking the sweat out my eyes with my little Bombay Sapphire for this evening. Hey, we're going to watch this thing as it cooks. Take it easy, folks. Man, it's been a while since I've been on this rascal. Woo. All right, baby, let me open this stuff. <clears throat> let me kind of move some of this stuff around a little, a little bit, you know what I mean? Let's see what's going on. Be very careful when you're messing with, with the fresh sausage because, uh, you know, a lot of that, your success depends on how, how good the casing is. So you want to make sure that you don't bust the casing. I mean, that's where all the juices, it's holding the juices in there, as well as the meat. Yeah, now we got it. Flip this baby here. Eh? Check it out. It's a good little grill. I just got this little sucker. Look here. Look at all them little marks on there, huh? It's starting to make some little marks, some little grilling marks. Look at that. Got the grilling marks working. That's how you know when it's good, 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 good. And I want it all to go slow. Ooh, boo. Look at that shroom. See that shroom? Now that's a shroom. I gotta put this one here on the side. Test that out at the while. Oh yeah, them shrooms looking good. I got them right in the right place there. Yes, yes, yes. Okay, I had to move the big sausage down here as you can see so I can get it cooking a little bit. You know, things are working a little slow. All right. I don't have one of them fancy eggs, you know. I'm not a rich man. That's rich folks got them egg things. Now I need to put some more of my gourmet barbecue sauce on my shrooms. But look here, you know. It's one thing about shrooms. You take the flavor of whatever you got around there. You ball them with crawfish, they okay with crawfish, they taste the crawfish ball. You grill them, whatever sauce you use, they take the sauce. Whatever. I just love the hell out of it. Anyway, I'm getting ready to flip over these pork and deer sausage again. Then I'll come back and start putting a little wet stuff on there. I just love grilling out for my people, you know. It's all good on the bayou, shy. Let's see what this thing here looks like. Yeah. I'm liking it. I think I might have to cut this, these links. Huh? What you think about that blade, eh? Eh? Watch my videos, you'll see which one gave me a set of knives. Or which two. <laughs> All 
Are right, you coming over, sweetheart? Come on out of here, brother. Right now, I'm going to take some shrooms off of there. these out of here and just let them go straight on to the grill. Now look, when you're unwrapping these, you be very careful because you do have a lot of steam in there. See that? And you don't want to burn yourself. See the bones? The bones already showing right there. Oh yeah, I can tell right now, this is my sauce right here. I can sure tell. Now I'm going to pull this out and let that hit the coals and you might see a little flare up. And then again, you might not. All right, now, for this bad one here, the same thing. This is my Thai sauce right here. Oh, yeah. See the red? That's my Thai sauce. What I'm going to do, though, I'm making a tent. Pour some of this right on there without messing my coals up. Oh, baby, look at that. Oh, oh, oh. yes, indeed. And this can go in the garbage. Let that baby do his thing. All right, boo. We're going to cook her for a while. Right. Let's see what's going on, baby. Ooh, Lord have mercy. Let me flip these sausages. I'm going to have to sa uh, sauce them up on this side now. Start off with my Thai sauce.
Looking good, baby. Well, that look good. Well, let me tell you what, when you hit this tie sauce that Zia's makes, <clears throat> I bought a bottle the other day because I just had to, you know, my grandsons both work there. And I tell you what, I mean, their sauce, when I saw it on the shelf, I just could not help myself. All right. I'm not doing no advertisement. I'm just trying to tell it just like it is. It's very tasty. Very good. This is my own gourmet sauce that I make. At the present time, I don't sell it. Cause they're just too dang good. I do have certain friends that ask me for it, and hey, I hook them up. It's because they're special friends to me. Okay, baby, let's let her cook now. I'm just gonna leave her opened up and just let it do its thing.
You know, I got to take a little taste, yeah? Damn, you know, I love Thai ribs. Man, that stuff melts in your mouth. Where the hell is that? <laughs> anyway, this is Chef Bart. What else can I show you? Damn, that's so good. Anyway, I'm going to talk to you later. God dang, that's good. Ah, Zia sure did it. Anyway, talk to you later. Y'all come back and see me sometime, chat. Aye, oh yeah, baby. Hot dang. Subscribe and you got your thumbs up. Aye, oh yes.